Welcome to another video. This is supposed to be some fun exercise because it is not calculus and it's nothing strange, it's just algebra and laws of exponents. And when your teacher does not want you to guess, at least from the beginning, they put big numbers so you can look at it more personally and see that you do some algebra before you come up with an answer. Even if this is a multiple choice problem, it will be hard for you to decide what, what, what x is because you will have to evaluate 17 to the 8th. Yeah, that's a big number. So, what should you do? Pay attention to everything around the problem. What you have here says 17 to the 8th, 17 to the x, 17 to the x. You can actually write this as 17 to the 0. Can you write this in terms of 17? This is the square of 17. So you can write this in terms of 17. So what you want to tell yourself is, I'm going to leave everything in terms of 17. Don't do any modification because everything can be written as a power of 17. And that's all we have to do. Let's get into the video. The first thing you want to do is get rid of the square root sign and at the same time I'll be writing this in terms of 17. So let's rewrite this. So I'm going to get rid of this by squaring both sides. So this is going to be 17 to the 8th plus 17 to the x over 17 to the x plus 1 equals. Remember this I can write as 17 squared. That's 289 then I'm going to square it because I'm squaring both sides. So here I have 17 to the 8th plus 17 to the x over 17 to the x plus 1 is 17 to the 4th. Well, the obvious thing is to cross multiply. So I'm going to have 17 to the 8th plus 17 to the x will be equal to 17 to the 4th multiplied by 17 to the x plus 1. Now because this is an exponential equation, you want to be careful how you arrange things. You may start drawing inferences. You might start saying, does this look like this? Yeah. Now, trying to compare both sides might be dangerous at this moment. Let's do some more simplification. In order to see what to do, I recommend distributing this. So we're going to have 17 to the 8th plus 17 to the x. If I distribute this, it's going to give me 17 to the x plus 4. And here it's going to be 17 to the 4th. At this point, you will be suspecting that x is equal to 4. Look very well. It looks like this matches this. And you can write 8 as 4 plus 4. So if this was a multiple choice problem, and you see 4 is one of the options, I would say just choose it, unless there's another number you can plug in. But because this is not a multiple choice problem, you have to show that x is 4. And x is the and 4 is the only value that x can have because just by guessing will not prove that it is. So what do you do? Let's do something. Let's try and pull all the x's to one side and see what it turns out to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, bring it here. So I have 17 to the x minus 17 to the x plus 4. And on the right hand side, I have 17 to the 4th minus 17 to the eighth. I don't know. It doesn't look like there's something. Oh, I see 17 to the x here. I can factor out 17 to the x. Remember, factoring is the same thing as dividing. So if I factor out 17 to the x, I 
I'm saying I am dividing each of these terms by 17 to the x. So what I have here is going to be 1. If I divide this by 17 to the x, it's like subtracting the exponents. I'm going to have 17 to the fourth here. I go here. What is common to both of them? 17 to the fourth. The smaller one is always common. So it's going to be 17 to the fourth. What I have is going to be 1 minus. This is 17. I subtract the exponents, 17 to the fourth. So I have this is also here. I can divide both sides by this because this is not zero. 1 minus 17 to the fourth is not zero. So if I divide both sides by this, I can clearly say that 17 to the x is 17 to the fourth. There is no other value no other real value or imaginary or anything that this can be. The only value of x that satisfies this equation is if x is 4. You have shown that that's the only answer. Guessing could have worked here, but this is what we want. This implies x is equal to 4. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.